Yeah, that sounds, you know, fantastic. I, you know, these organ specific, you know, uh, peptides or, or bioregulator peptides. I mean, but, but where do you get them? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where do I go? Where do I shop? <laughs> got my credit let's card. Go, where do I go? go to the bottom line. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's so explain to me. So let's talk a little bit about where they come from. Right. So they were originally, um, isolated from animal tissue. Okay. So there's different forms of bioregulators and there's basically, there are three different versions of bioregulators. The first one, and the one that is the most easily ac ac accessed, is actually a classified as a nutritional supplement. Mm. And these are capsules, and they are extracts from those tissues, glands, and organs. Which one was it? So those, so that is when we use the word. So endolutin, that's mm. that one of the three names of epitalon. Endolutin is the name of that bioregulator that is encapsulated. And where I get all of my bioregulators is a place called um, online called Profound Health. So mm -hmm. I, I can give you the website. It's profound-health.com. And we can put this in the show notes. And, and um, I actually have a code people can use to get a discount if they want. But the they what they work very closely with, with Dr. Kevinson. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the bioregulators, well, most of the bioregulators on the market are in white boxes, you know, and they've got their Russian names like Glandocort and, you know, Stomacort and all these Russian names, which are really hard to understand and hard to tell what's what kind of thing. So what uh, Profound Health did is with an agreement with Dr. Kevinson, they've repackaged the bioregulators and rebranded them under a brand called Nature's Marvels. Hmm. And it says on the box, pineal bioregulator, heart bioregulator, lung oh, bioregulator. God. So oh, it's God. the exact same stuff that's in the Russian box, just in nice, easy English. So when they say heart bioregulators, it's a group of regulators. That's So in it's just one. So what's happened is that, no, so no, so the, in the extract, you probably have some cofactors as well. It's a little bit like, you know, the best... I think the best analogy for this is when you think of glandulars, like glandular supplements, mm -hmm. part of the glandular supplement's strength probably is that there is bioregulator peptide in there. Mm. Maybe right? like cerebral lysin. Exactly. But or like, or desiccated thyroid, for example. Right. right? So you're going to have, you're most likely having some of that thyroid bioregulator in there. Plus you have cofactors and you've got your T3, your T, like, you know, you've got all the other stuff mixed in. And so the nutritional supplement, which is that extract has that advantage that it has both the amino acid sequence. That's the money piece. Plus it's got all the cofactors. The mm -hmm. other version of bioregulators that is the second most commonly used and found are what we would call synthetic bioregulators. So this is where they've actually isolated that two to four amino acid chain and have been able to resynthesize it in a lab. And that, bio that form of the bioregulator can be administered either by subcutaneous injection or increasingly we're finding sublingual sprays or drops. Some There's a couple of companies working on transdermal delivery as well. So because, again, because they're so tiny, they can cross membranes. They can get in places that nowhere else can, right? Yeah, you know, I, I know some people are afraid of glandular extracts or animal mm -hmm. extracts. Yeah. Uh, do you think that type of fear is founded? It's, it's actually reasonable or is that just you know, over, <laughs> over. Yeah. Well, that's... what are they afraid of? Um, let's say cerebral lysin. And, and I have encountered patients who said, Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm what's in it. You know, what pig's brain. Okay. Um, you know, what could the, you know, how can we make sure that it's completely there's no prions safe. and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. So, so oh, look, I mean, in the case of cerebral lysin, I think that they go through extensive testing to make sure that whatever they're using is clean. Um, in the case of the bioregulators, again, they are, I think the process is extremely sophisticated. And, you know, if you, last time I heard Kevinson speak, he was like, you know, we've treated millions of people and nobody's ever had an adverse reaction mm -hmm. ever. 
right? Yeah. Um, so I think that the process that they use on the, so this is on the nutritional one, which is, which is the actual extract from the tissue gland and organ. When you get to the synthesized bioregulator, there's no issues because it's synthetic, Mm -hmm. right? The third version, which we don't get here, we don't, you wouldn't find it really outside of Russia as far as I can, as I, as far as I've seen. I mean, I think that, I think I know someone who's brought in a little bit on occasion for doctors, but it's very hard to get into the country because now what we're doing, what they've done is they've taken that that extract from the tissue gland and organ and they've created a, a, a an injectable form that, that is injected intramuscularly. Mm-hmm. And that would be, I would think that, I would say that in Russia, that would be what they would use as a first intervention. Let's say if someone has a stroke or they have like a very serious medical condition, because that would be the most fast acting, most powerful form of the bioregulator. The synthetic form is the next uh, synthetics. Those are very fast acting, but they tend to be, they don't, the, the, the effects don't last quite as long. The, the oral ones, they're not as fast acting, but they, once they kick in, Mm. the effects last a lot longer. And it kind of makes sense, right? Because Mm -hmm. you've got on the synthetic side, you're just flipping a switch. On the on the biological side, you've got the flip switch flipper, but you also have all the other cofactors that are maybe helping in other ways um, 